Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? Yes, sir! As do I. So, I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, it made, I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray he really didn't feel no way. And if he did, got my chin out. Take your best shot of the chin, boy, do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, for, for like the misstep in it, and then I can get back to my true path. Because I ain't gonna lie to y'all past two days felt terrible like Aww. it let me know how good i've been sleeping for the past 10 years so all of that to say man i want to i want to now perform the song that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with god and the name of the song is called love yours i want to do that what's up everybody this is the world famous ed lover and you are watching forgotten kings tv that's right forgotten kings tv J. Cole is having regrets, man. I guess the rumors are true. Yes, yes, I guess the rumors are true, man. Kendrick Lamar must be one of the most dangerous, most feared MCs in, the, in today's rap game. I mean, come on. J. Cole, what do you do? Everyone's waiting to hear J. Cole and Drake's response to Kendrick Lamar. Basically saying, look, man, fuck y'all. Ain't no big three. It's just me. And as I stated in my previous video, a lot of people heard J. Cole's response and just looked at him like, are you serious? See, this is the, the beauty of the internet today, where you can't just lie to people. You know, remember I used to say, you know, piss on your leg, call it raining, little, little uh, you know, phrases like that. I mean, basically, you, you can't mislead the people. You know, we get it. They all have major fan bases, right? So the fact that J. Cole is trying to downplay Kendrick Lamar's catalog has people looking at J. Cole like, come on, man. You talking about his albums putting people to sleep. I mean, I don't know. Do we blame Drake for this uh, apology for lackluster Kendrick Lamar diss? I mean, what is going on right now? Now everyone is just waiting on Drake. The big dog, right? He, he he the king of rap. Now the world's waiting on him. Now, I expect Drake to put out something decent. You know what I mean? Will it be better than the seven-minute drill? I hope. But this approach of, you know, responding back to K-Dot just to come back and say, you know what? My bad. My bad. You, you, got, you got that. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Get your shot off. You right. Woo! This man, Kendrick, he must be literally one of the, if not the most feared MC in the rap game today. I'm not talking about the other, you know, rappers that, that doesn't partake in these lyrical squabbles, as they would say. But Kendrick came out on this, just a verse, wasn't even his song. And, and let it be known, listen, all y'all over there clicking up, first person shooting, yeah, whatever. Bruh, it's me, not y'all. So, at first... You know, people was, okay, Kendrick, sure. You know, Drake, he just ended his tour. J. Cole, he just headlined his fest. So, I mean, does this now remove J. Cole from the conversation simply by him gracefully bowing out? I mean, this is interesting, y'all. I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm, I'm a little disappointed in J. Cole because, you know, there's no need for, you know, a backtrack in, in a, in a, in a hip-hop battle. I mean, it's all right. You don't, you don't got to double back. It's okay. It's all right, Jay. You good, Jermaine. You good. That lets you know. Kendrick is really him. Like, seriously, he got to be. I know y'all going to be like, man, you come on, man, whatever. Listen, Kendrick has to be that guy. And now, Drake, listen, tour just ended. You know, you dropping little riddles on your IG post. It's time, Drake. If there was ever a time where you felt that you was the best, right, Six God, Drake, yeah. If there was ever a time to show the people why you are considered the GOAT of your generation, now is that time, Drake. Now is that time. Because uh, right now, your boy, Kenny, uh, he, he not playing. He didn't even put a song out yet. He just put out a verse. 
you got homies responding and then apologizing. I mean, what the f- what is going on? Real hip hop fans going right back to sleep. What? Apologize? I woke up like what? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, <laughs> I'm a little late today. I know. I'm celebrating, you know, my our movie. Shout out to Red TV. You know, we got a movie on Tubi right now, Knockout Kings of Comedy. Make sure y'all hit the link in the description. Check that out. I was celebrating. Forgive me for not being more swift with delivering the news, but trust me, we on it this week. I just had to get on here and share my one-two about this J. Cole apologizing for lackluster Kendrick Lamar this man. Y'all let me know, what are your thoughts on Jermaine? Double backing on his Kendrick Lamar this man. How do you feel about it? Like I said, me, I'm a little disappointed because, again, it's, it's no bloodshed. It's just lyrical squabbles. If you ain't ready to take your ball and go home, like Joe Budden said, he had a phenomenal take this past weekend. A lot of real hip-hop fans are disappointed. And now it's on Drake to show up and let the people know why he's considered the GOAT. He's going to have to show it through bars. Not riddles, not captions. He's going to have to put out something fire. I'm talking fire than he's ever put in his career. Let's be real. Because you know, Kendrick got a couple of them things waiting right in the vault. So y'all let me know. (laughs) What are your thoughts on this big three squabble, which is now down to just Kendrick and Drake? Y'all let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. But that's all I got for y'all today. My name is Sensei Rip. Till next time, peace. God damn, Jermaine. Mm -mm Mm-mm-mm. I can't believe this. I got to go outside after this. This is ridiculous. Damn. You, You said letting all us down. You just let us all down. Y'all know the MREC room etiquette? Peace. You now tuned in to MREC TV. Someone wasn't on protocol. There are consequences. Kings of Carmen, this your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Troncho, you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. You know, I know me, old you fuck with lambskin condoms. I didn't even want my man to eat my because I eat meat from Aldi's. The fuck wrong with you? Aldi's, you should eat this. We don't know what the fuck that meat is. No! In prison. That's not the, the part about it. The part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping my ain't no point of both of us get I step up, look him right in his eyes. <laughs> he go to pat me down. Twenty dollars, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> no sir. Is this microphone really necessary at this point? Come on, we knock y'all out. We knock y'all out with punchline, punchline, punchline. You know how we turn. Yeah. <laughs>